Are you ready to get ugly? Which brings us to a picturesque little Midwestern town named St. Cloud, Minnesota. This town has ranch house after ranch house after ranch house. This specific house stands out because it's got that guy welcoming you in. I'm Courtney, and I live in the ugliest house in America with my children, Oliver and Charles, and my fiance, Russ. So I bought this house because I have children, boys, lots of energy, and it's very close to work. So I made a low ball offer and they took it. Welcome. Wow. Okay. There's a giant fish attached to the wall. Little fish painted everywhere. It's like a fish fetish room. I'm stunned. If you look straight up, that's the water droplet coming down at you. Oh, is that what that yes, is? Yes, you're getting rained on. We're underwater. You know I hope you can oh, swim. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Let me ask you a question. How long have you been here? When did you buy it? Last fall, we bought it. You bought it like this? I did. Oh, boy. Oh. oh, wow. You got waterfall windows, jungle wallpaper. It's the George of the Jungle Room. With a matching fan. I feel like I'm in an episode of Gilligan's Island. And you're never getting off. I'm never getting off. <laughs> Welcome. So the bed is on a glowing platform. Oh, and you have a fake ocean view. This is, this is a lot. What? You didn't get all this information before you bought this house? It has a pool. It has a pool. <gasps> the pool. You have reef demons, nude mermaids, and gargoyles. I'm stunned. Any property that still has gargoyles on it, you know, I'm they right. We traverse the stairs of doom. Check out the bathroom on the left. <gasps> what the actual Cave bathroom. Stalactites, glitter ceiling. To your left will be the shower for four and the steam room. For four? That's a no. No, no. No, no. And now we're going to head into the gym or the temple room with gym equipment. This theme park. I'm tired. <laughs> every single room is different, and every single room is non-functional. Please save this house. Oh, man. OK. In order to determine just how ugly a house is, I'm looking for three things. Overall ugly appearance, function, or lack thereof, and what I'm calling the surprise factor, something that wows me. So what about the appearance of Poseidon's fortress was ugly? We got a little Poseidon in the living room, jungle and tiki theme in the kids' room. That basement? Stop it. Function-wise, how can you function when every surface can possibly cause an open wound? And the surprise is the level of commitment to this god of the sea theme. Next stop on our search for the Midwest's ugliest brings us all the way down to Dewey, Oklahoma. Hi, Retta. Hi. Welcome to our ugly home. Oh, we're so, so excited, excited for you to be here yeah. first. I'm so excited. Your energy is me <laughs> excited. <laughs> what made you buy this house? I was raised in this house. My mom and dad actually built the house in 1962. So why pink? Why is the house pink? She loved pink. It's her favorite color. People ask, why did you paint it pink? I said, oh, it's not painted, it's brick. The brick is pink. Wait, how do you get pink brick? I don't think it's a real sought after item. <laughs> <laughs> you got all the pink brick in Oklahoma. <laughs> got it. Let us talk about this room right here. You've got a drop down living room with blue shag carpet. It's a lot. That is a disco ball that I've not seen before. It has its own Saturn ring. Yes. It is baller baller. <laughs> wow. Oh my god. <laughs>
Here's your pink. Y'all, pink countertops, we have the pink cabinets. The pink garbage, don't think I didn't yeah. say the pink garbage. <laughs> I saw it. There is carpeting in the kitchen. Y'all. <laughs> I'm fascinated. Oh, you gotta come this way and see what's behind door number one. <laughs> Go to the right. <laughs> Rather, this was my parents' bedroom. I can't breathe. <laughs> you weren't ready for this, were you? I was not <laughs> ready. Wow. Where does one find? She found this in a window in Tulsa, and then she had those all made to match. And the bench. And the bench. It's puffy. I feel like there should be men in <laughs> white sarongs holding it What was Meemaw doing here when we were around? <laughs> <laughs> Do you like this carpet in here? Uh, I don't. It was her game room. Got us a little drop ceiling. It feels like a basement, even though I can see outside a window. <laughs> in terms of appearance, this place was styling in the 60s, but not anymore. In terms of function, you've got space to throw a party. I'm not sure who's going to come, but you got the space. I was surprised by the disco ball. They got a disco ball with a Saturn ring, because why not? The last stop on our hunt to find the worst in the Midwest brings us back up to Minnesota to a town called Blue Earth, where the town motto is, Earth so rich, the city grows. Hello. Hi, Renee. Renee. Yes, nice welcome to, to Blue Earth. Earth. Well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> These are church doors. Whoa. These are church doors. It had a chapel yeah, in it. Chapel. But if you turn around, you might see a few more clues. You guys, is this a funeral home? This yes. was a funeral <laughs> home, yes. <laughs> Why would you buy a funeral home? <laughs> we have four kids, right? and we need space. You have a lot of property. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, I thought it was a church. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. this is like an, it's definitely an entryway, a space meant for many to yep. congregate. This staircase yeah. and the fact that five people, shoulder to shoulder, can walk up it, yep. says it's not a home. So, Retta, this room is where our kids play, but it's what used to be where the wake would be. Oh. The kids call this the other side, and they come over and run, and they can scream. So they call yeah. it the other that. side. That makes me uncomfortable <laughs> more than anything else. You've got the drop ceiling, and the colors are interesting. It's like a light olive and a dusty rose. And then right through this door over here, this is where we're thinking maybe we'd have a private bath. There is no handle on this here. OK. This is the bathroom? Well, we hope it's going to be a bathroom. So this is a lift that would lift things. So it does work. This thing still works. Oh, yeah. I'll show you. <sighs> All right. Well, where to next? We're going to head out this door. OK, so we've started something in here. This was called the prep room. The prep room would also be called the embalming room. Ah, there was all sorts of equipment. equipment. It was still here? There was a surgical light, the hook on the ceiling. I mean, I don't know what I can tell you about the appearance other than it's a funeral home. Every room had something to do with someone dying. Functionally? You can make it whatever. It's a very large space. But you're just, you're just going to remember. Surprise, it's a funeral. I thought it was where people went to worship God. And that, it's actually someplace where people went to ask God why. Which house in the Midwest is the ugliest? Between a Greek god-themed fortress. You live in a theme park. But it's like one that's going to get closed because nobody goes there. <laughs> <laughs> a pink party house frozen in time. It is baller baller. 
disco fever. And a house built for the deceased, why would you buy a funeral home? <laughs> the Midwest brought the heat in the ugly department. Hey, Hi. how are you? Good to see you again, come in. You have seen all the houses in the Midwest. And you are our finalists. Congratulations. Oh, no. you... <laughs> Sorry. You're representing the Midwest in our finals for the ugliest house in America, which comes with a $150,000 renovation. And that renovation will be designed by Allison Victoria of Windy City Rehab. I don't even know what to say. Oh. So Courtney. You have one more step to go, and I might see you again. It's gonna happen. Ugliest house in the Midwest is great, but we need this ugliest house in America.